Um, I'm delighted to be able to uh, host this evening, working with my good friend, uh, Lisa Hutt, who is our uh, Director of Prayer Ministry for, for NPN. And I think, uh, Lisa, you're just going to, as we start, just share some kind of ground rules, I think, for our prayer time together, and then we'll kick off. Okay, hi. Um, I'm sure you've been on various prayer meetings and there's been a bit of a clash and, and sort of when people try to pray. And, and uh, so we, we just thought we'd try something new and we can obviously amend it as we go. But the idea is that when you would like to pray, if you can just um, have a little um, chat in chat, just say, I'd like to pray. And then Adam would invite you to pray. Um, and uh, we'd ask you to try and sort of keep your prayers um, to the focus of the evening, which tonight is the church. And um, that, uh, you know, please don't pray too long because obviously everybody would like to contribute. Um, and um, we, we're just sort of delighted that you're here and, and we'll just go with the flow. But the idea is we'll if you could obviously mute as well um, and unmute when you're invited to pray, that'd be great. So um, looking forward to our time of prayer tonight. And I'm just going to hand back to Adam and uh, obviously just uh, delighted that you can join us. Thank you. Thank you, Lisa. So this week, the, the focus is all about praying for God's biblical truth in society. And whether you talk about the seven mountains, the seven spheres, uh, there's some debate around uh, uh, the church and in Christian circles around all of that. But actually, this week for us is whether you use those terms or whether you don't, this week is about praying for kind of the covering of the ground. And so that's where we'll be praying into the different areas throughout the week. And the schedule is available um, on prayerweek.net, the website. That'll tell you what our theme is um, each day. Um, as part of that, we're putting out a number of different uh, videos um, and content throughout the week. So delighted, as I say, to be working with uh, Leading the Way UK, um, of which Alan uh, Kirby is its uh, UK uh, director. Um, to to offer some good content. So already today, we've had some great stuff. We've had um, a conversation that uh, Carl and Ad, uh, Carl and Alan had um, to just set the kind of tone for the week. We've had a devotional from R.T. Kendall. We've had an in conversation that I uh, shared with Bishop Philip Mount Stephen, and Carl has had a conversation uh, that was recorded with Gavin Calver from the Evangelical Alliance. So an awful lot. Uh, to chew over if you haven't seen those videos i can't recommend them uh highly enough those meetings are um, those videos uh, and those recordings are, are great just to be able to go back and study some of this but this is prayer week and so we're, alongside all the material we are here to pray i'm going to invite lisa because just as we were coming in uh to to our zoom room just to, to set up to to make sure the technology worked lisa shared uh, with me something that God had laid upon her heart, a, a verse of scripture that kind of sets the tone um, for the week. So Lisa, I'm going to invite you just to share um, what God's put on your heart that today as you've been praying. Hi, everybody. Um, I was just reminded of, of a word that we had, um, a scripture that we had on Friday when we were praying about prayer week. And I just felt the Lord was saying, you know, you need to share this scripture at the start of prayer week. And it's uh, from Psalm 119, verse 105. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light for my path. And I just, read, you know, we're in a time where, you know, uh, as, as we look um, at the Bible and we look at the theme um, of biblical literacy, um, that this is the moment when we need to be um, taking time in the word of God to because we are in a shaking time and we can learn so much and receive so much and it will just help us through these times, give us comfort, it will give us counsel. There's so much in the Word of God. So as we pray, pray tonight and as we go through this week, uh, that is the scripture I just want to just, um, I feel it's like the anchor word really. Your, your word is a lamp to my feet and a light for my path. So um, I'm just sharing that with you. I just felt the Holy Spirit was saying to me, You've got to speak that word out. So I've spoken it out and I'm just sowing it into the prayer week. And I just pray that that will be indeed um, like a, a promise to everybody who watches this and anybody who engages with prayer uh, week. That indeed, the word of God would be a lamp to their feet and a light to their path. Whatever you're going through, that word is there for you. And uh, God will speak in it and through it as you spend time uh, reading the Bible. 
Thank you, Lisa. <clears throat> We're going to turn to our first prayer point, but uh, before we do, uh, Pastor Tunde, I've muted you, but I'll allow you to unmute yourself. Would you just open our time and commit uh, this prayer week uh, to the Lord? Shall we pray? Eternal God, we are grateful. We thank you for this prayer time that we are having even at this very first day of the beginning of the prayer week for the Neighborhood Prayer Network, we are here as a fraction of this whole nation, representation of the streets, the homes, and the different regions of this nation. Thank you for the word that you have sent across and ahead of us, that your word is a lamb to our faith, and a guide to us in all that we do. We ask that as we go ahead in this week, you will determine, O oh God, by reason of your plan from before the foundation of days, that what is in your heart be revealed to us and through us. And there will be a performance because you watch over your word. We thank you, O oh God, for all that has happened today and what will happen all through this week. We release them into your spirit and into your hands. Guide us and teach us. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you, uh, Pastor Tunde. As I say, this is a, a, a week of prayer that's in partnership with uh, Leading the Way. And so if you haven't already seen um, the video that was launched this morning at uh, just after 7, 7.30, I think it was, um, by Dr. Michael Youssef, who is the founder and president of Leading the Way. Um, he's recorded a special message uh, for this week that's about 20-ish minutes long on Daniel uh, chapter 9. We're playing that out uh, deliberately and intentionally this week. We believe there's, God's got things that he wants to say to, to individual Christians and to, to the UK church. Um, and so that's where I want to turn with my first prayer point. Um, I was particularly struck and I was delighted that uh, Lisa uh, pulled it out when she was preparing the, the prayer points uh, for the week. But I want us to begin our time by praying into that first prayer point because I was struck by the, something that uh, Dr. Michael said about this is a time when we as God's people need to turn to him in humility and repentance. You know, it, I, I don't think it's by accident um, that we're thinking about the church as our first prayer time in this prayer week. And so I want us to, I'm going to pray and then I'm going to invite other people. Just put your uh, name in the chat if you want to pray and, and I'll, I'll invite you to pray. But I want us just to first of all turn to pray that as God's people, that's who we are. We are the church. We are God's people. That as we turn to look at God's word as we turn to have the Bible at the center of the life of the church and of our own individual walk, that we would do so with humility and also with repentance when we, when we fail. So I'm going to open us in prayer and then do put yourself, your names in the chat or any comments you want to make in the chat. And I'll invite you to, to pray along. As I say, we've got a few minutes, uh, prepare prayer point, uh, to do this. So I'm just going to open us in prayer. Heavenly father, we thank you. We thank you that, the church is your plan A. The church is your plan A in order to enable people to come to know you. It's not by accident. The church is God's gift uh, to, to, uh, to us who seek to follow Jesus today. And so, Lord, I just pray that on the first day of this prayer week, when we're praying for the church, I pray for all God's people within the church lord i pray for the fellowships that we represent for the churches that we're a part of the churches that we are uh, around us in our towns our villages our cities lord i thank you that because we are the body of christ united together we don't do kingdom work alone but tonight i want to pray that for all of us as God's people, we would turn to opening up the, up, open up the Bible. Not by looking at it as some kind of book that 
gives us right, but actually with humility. Wow. But actually in the Bible are your very words speaking uh, to us. So I pray for us as believers that as we open your word, we would do so humbly. I pray too that we'd also repent, Lord. Lord, we, when we come to a week like this and we think about uh, the scriptures, Lord, we know that as individuals, but also as a church, we have misused your word. We haven't opened your word. We haven't seen the power that is contained within your word. And so, Lord, I just ask that this night and this day and this week, we would say that we were sorry, that we would repent of those times. Heavenly Father, we thank you that your word is life and truth to us. So, Lord, we thank you for your word. Amen. I'm going to invite uh, Lisa, because she was the next person in the chat, to pray for that point as well. Father God, um, I'm just reminded of uh, you say to us, do not judge. And I just want to pray for the times when uh, we have judged others and we haven't been humble enough to actually include ourselves in repentance. Lord, and I just want to ask, Lord, that you will help us, Lord, uh, come before you um, in humility, Father God, that we would recognise that we are part of the problem and we can be part of the solution, Father God, that you will enable us um, uh, where we, where we have um, any type of offence in our heart against somebody, any type of judgment, you would just reveal that to us, that that would be removed, that that plank would be taken out of our eye, Father God, because it's only then that we'll know what to do. So Lord Jesus, I thank you for your word, and I thank you for the counsel of your word, and I just pray that people will turn to you in humility, that they will get their hearts right with you, and Lord, I come before you myself, and I say I'm sorry for the times when I haven't, um, um, well, I've judged others, Lord, and I would ask, Lord, that you would forgive me, and Lord, that you would lead your people in this hour to live differently and love differently. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 I think we'll open it up in prayer. We've got quite a few people, so let's just open it now. Um, Mm. So, as you feel prompted, pray. <clears throat> Father, forgive us because we haven't seen with your eyes that we can't see for the brick walls that we've put up on either side. Lord, guide us to walk by faith to the end of the brick walls and look to the right in repentance and look to the left in humility and step forward out of those walls, O oh Lord, along your paths, keeping our eyes focused on you, Lord, on your truth, on your righteousness. Lord, help us to tear down the brick walls that bind us, Lord. We are your church, Lord, so that you've taken out, us out of those brick walls, but yet we're in our house made of brick, oh Lord. Um, so help us to just look beyond our walls, Lord, and to see as you see what's going on outside in our neighbourhoods, in our villages, in our towns, in our cities and in the UK, Lord, and not waver turning to the right or to the left, but keeping our eyes on you, because you, Lord, are indeed uh, a lamp for our feet and a light for our path. So help us to walk in your ways and turn in repentance and turn in humility, O oh Lord, and walk in your ways. 
the truth of your ways in your word, your way, your way, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We, we have another theme that came through our time this morning, if we can start praying into the next theme, which is pray that biblical people will do biblical things, loving God and loving their neighbours. So if, if you can sort of pray more into that theme, that would be great. Father, we come before you this evening on behalf of the church, your church. We know, O oh God, that your hand is upon our lives. And we use this time to lift up the leaders and the leadership of the church in what one way or the other, in the lay and in the priesthood. We pray, O oh God, that those you have positioned as leaders and that you are raising as leaders, their heart, O oh God, will be centered to emphasize the glory of your name and the tenet, O oh God, of your principle in our days and in our time. Let the truth and the light of God shine through your church and become, O oh God, what we will begin to see manifest and hear from, before, from, from the walls in the church in the name of Jesus. Father God, rekindle us, O oh God, as a fresh fire that will begin to burn in this time and in this age so that in our generation, the light of the word of God will not go out. We thank you because you are king and you are God. In Jesus' name, amen. Father, I want to say thank you that you call us to be biblical people. Lord, I thank you for the opportunity uh, that I had to speak uh, to Bishop Philip uh, recently in pr preparing this uh, material and that challenge that came from uh, Philip about that call to again be biblical people and Lord again I just both ask that you'd help us as we pick up on that previous point um, of, of being humble and uh, coming with repentance where we've sought not to be biblical people but I pray that uh, for myself and for my brothers and sisters on this uh, prayer call, but also those that will watch and those that are part of our networks and our churches and our church fellowships, that actually, Lord, we would be biblical people who seek to go around doing biblical things. And so, Lord, at this time, I pray for the church that there would be a greater sense of knowing what that great commission and great command is that we're to love you and we're to love our neighbours. Lord, we have seen so much in recent times of people going out to love in their communities. But sometimes we've done that, Lord, if we're honest, in our own strength. And we've not sought to love you. So I pray that for each of us, for those that watch and for those, uh, the whole church of God, that actually we would again realign ourselves to be those biblical people doing biblical things in our communities. That we would do those things to love you and to love others, even when there is no glory. Lord, I pray that we would realign ourselves with those scriptures that remind us about what we're supposed to be about. Lord, it's easy sometimes just to, to read it and think we know it. But during the course of this week, for each of us, Lord, I pray that we would go back to those first principles. That we would examine ourselves. Um, and that we would move forward confidently, being more the people you call us to be. Lord, I thank you that when we make these kind of prayers, you come through the power of your spirit and minister to us. Reminding of us of who we are, not because of what we've done, but because of what you've done. You enable us to stand and to serve. So Lord, I also pray for the ministry of Leading the Way UK and also for Neighbourhood Prayer Network. That through, this net, through these networks, 
you would remind us what it is to be biblical people. Amen. That we might show those messages wherever you place us. We pray this in your name. Mm. Amen. 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 Father, your word um, reminds us so often, and particularly uh, if we look at the Old Testament, uh, that when your people disobey you and they rebel, uh, that that often results in judgment uh, and exile. Uh, but when your people turn to you and the book of the law is returned to the temple as it was in King Josiah's time, uh, that that's when we see you really blessing your people. And Father, we do want to pray again, uh, especially today, uh, after that interview that Adam had with uh, Billet, um, Bishop Philip Mount Stephen for uh, people who love your word within the Anglican Church. Mm. Uh, for people, particularly for bishops and for clergy, those who hold leadership positions, uh, who want to see the gospel proclaimed, who want to see your word upheld faithfully. Father, we want to pray for those people within the Anglican Church who have a real passion to do that. So for people like Bishop Philip, Mm. Uh, for the Archbishop Stephen Cottrell and Justin Welby and every uh, one else in the Anglican Church who has a leadership position. Father, we pray that you, would, uh, that you would bless them, that you would uphold them, that you would help them to speak boldly, uh, to see the truth of your word restored. And where churches are slipping away from this in their diocese, Father, we do pray that... Uh, uh, that your word would go out and remind churches who are maybe slipping away from your word, who are maybe saying, well, maybe there's more than uh, one way to God. Maybe Jesus isn't the only way. Father, where that, is, where that error is slipping into the church, Father, we just pray for correction and restoration, that the name of Jesus would be uplifted and glorified. Because we know that when that happens, you have said that you would draw all men and women to yourself. So, Father, we lift the Anglican Church to you uh, this evening and just pray that you would pour out your blessing upon it. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I've just seen a message from Rachel who has a prayer point. We'll make this the last one, and I know we'll probably sli go slightly over time, but it would be good to pray for the third uh, prayer point uh, before we go uh, this evening. But uh, Rachel, I'm going to hand over to you. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Adam. Uh, I want to pray from the book of uh, Gospel according to Acts, chapter 2, verse 47. Acts, chapter 2, verse 47. Uh, read it says praising God and having favor with all the people and our Lord added to the church daily such as should be saved there are two things there uh, beloved uh, praising God I want to pray for the church even as the church is praising God that the church will receive favor you know from the people from the uh, everyone you know that hear about the church of God that hear about the word of God. For example, this prayer week now, as many that we hear, as many that we, you know, watch these video clips, you know, that people of God have put together this week, all together, that God will have favor upon his church and thereby touch lives and save people, you know, and bring them to his church in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord God, I pray this hour uh, in one accord on this platform uh, as we start this week, prayer week, O oh Lord, that as we are praising you as church uh, across the globe, O oh Lord, in the United Kingdom, across, you know, the nations, as your church comes together to praise you, that I pray that you grant your church favor, O oh Lord, you put the people of God, you give us favor so that as we speak boldly, as we declare the gospel, that people will, you know, listen, that the word of God will go, you know, into the hearts of the people out there so that they can love the church and receive the favor of God so that people that hear these words shall be saved in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord God, I pray that you, uh, by this uh, 
this week program, oh Lord, that you will add to your church, oh Lord. You will save people and you will add multiple of souls to your church, oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. And at this particular period, oh Lord, that your church, oh Lord, will come to that point of praising you always, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, precious Father. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. 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 I'm going to uh, just turn to uh, our final prayer point. And again, we are going to go a few minutes over, but uh, I'm going to invite Lisa, um, if you're willing, uh, just to pray our final prayer piece. It comes out of the conversation um, that Carl had with Gavin Calver. The thing that most struck me about um, what Gavin said, and I, I, I was joking this to, to Lisa um, as we were setting up, it was actually the piece that's in the trailer video. So anybody that's on social media, Paul and Pete have been putting out um, trailer clips just to encourage people to give people and whet people's appetite. But actually the thing that most struck me was that prayer point about from Gavin about making the, bringing the Bible alive. That was the thing that most struck me. How often do we present the scriptures? Hebrews chapter four, as I was reminding the people at Toddington this morning, that it says the word of God is living and active and sometimes we don't present it in those terms. And so the thing that Gavin uh, challenged us to, 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 to reflect upon is actually that actually as the church, we would have courage and confidence um, in terms of presenting that gospel, that actually we'd have courage and confidence and also faithfulness as we do. So Lisa, I'd love you to, uh, love you just to lead us in a prayer um, on that point, please. Father God, I, I just pray that we would know what is in our hand. And uh, that verse that says, hold out the word of God. And I just want to thank you that we um, have access to the Bible. And those words are life-giving. And, um, and when we share them with other people, uh, they can um, transform lives. And I just pray that we would just um, get a new understanding, a new revelation of the Word of God and how uh, significant and important and precious um, and essential it is. And that we would start to speak those words into situations. We will share those words with people we meet, those that we know, Father God, that we will share the message, the good news of Jesus, that many will come to faith, Father God. And I just want to come against the fear of man in Jesus' name. And I just want to pray, Lord, that you will give us courage, Father God, that uh, we will have courage, Lord, that uh, we will be bold and courageous, Father God, for such a time as this. Lord, and I just pray that we will be able just to witness to you what you've done in our lives, that we will give testimony, Father God, and that we will be able to share our stories with others, and in that, share your story. So thank you, Jesus, for all you're going to do, Father God. I just thank you, Lord, for your word and, I, and the riches in your word, and I just pray that as we search your word, Lord, that you will just... Um, plant words in our hearts that we can then um, then share with others uh, in your time, Father God, as you just prompt us. Thank you, Jesus, for all you're going to do, more than we can ask or imagine, for your glory and your glory alone. Amen. 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 Um, I'm going to invite one last person to pray in, into that area, and then we're going to draw our time uh, this evening to a close. So does anybody want to... Uh, just kind of follow on from what Lisa uh, was, was praying. Again, for the confidence and the boldness, and also for the kind of br bringing alive of the teaching of the scriptures. Some of you are muted, some of you are not, but who, next person to jump in, please do lead us in prayer. Tunde, would you uh, pray for us, please? Yes, I'm going to go for it. Yes. <laughs> Father, thank you that we can come across the nations 
in the United Kingdom. And Lord, thank you that regardless of where we live, where we were born, that Lord, you put us in the United Kingdom and we are united in in the fact that you are our father and Jesus is our brother. Yes. And Lord, I pray that you will give those of us who who at times have, have found it challenging to, to present the gospel and who have found it difficult at times in the workplace to, to be able to present the gospel, Father, that you would give us the confidence and the courage to present the gospel and to live out the gospel in whatever way that is for each of us in our, in our communities. Father, give us the confidence to be able to stand on your word with family, with friends, and in our communities, in whatever shape or form that is for each of us. Um, and Lord, thank you that, Lord, we are, we were the nation, we were the nations of the book. Scotland was called the nation of the book. Glasgow's motto was let Glasgow flourish by the preaching of the word. Father, let us see that coming through our four nations again, the country flourishing, because yes. we are preaching your word in love. Amen. And sometimes, Lord, that means having challenging conversations. Father, we, Jesus was not meek and mild at times. Mm. He challenged people. He convicted people. But he always did it in love. And Father, help us to look at Jesus as our model, but always to have wisdom in what we say and in how we say it. Because I'm sure, Lord, most of us at times haven't always said things with the right attitude and in the right way. We might have been right, but maybe just haven't had quite the right attitude. So Father, help us always to remember that wisdom, wisdom, is one of the key characteristics yes, of, of Proverbs and what wisdom is. Wisdom, discernment, not always just having knowledge. Yes, Father, help us always to look at your word and to base what we do and say on your word in whichever part of this United Kingdom that we live in and whatever circumstances we find ourselves living in. Yes, Father, help us to remember that we are commanded to pray for those in authority and we're commanded to live peaceful lives. Mm. Sometimes that can be challenging, Lord, when we want to gripe against the latest restrictions. <clears throat> so, Father, help us to remember that your word commands us to pray for those in authority and to live peaceful lives. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 We have come... Uh, to uh, the end of our time together so thank you um, again for, for joining us um, Sunday nights is always that interesting one because you never know who's going to turn up some people are doing family some people are doing church related activities um, but just uh, a reminder that each weekday morning Monday through to Saturday uh, we're here again to, to pray uh, for the material that is being uh, released each day it'd be a delight to to welcome new people and also that thing that most people always say go and tell your friends invite other people to come uh, and to, to uh, join us um if you haven't watched in their entirety the the video from dr michael uh, yusuf that that will be re being replayed out on uh, youtube and social media at 12 o'clock tomorrow um so go and check that out it is also available now uh, but it will be being played out again and do share it uh, tomorrow we'll be thinking about praying for the family and uh, at 10 o'clock there is a conversation um, that Carl had with uh, Catherine uh, Hill who is the uh, UK Director of Care for the Family. Um, so do go and, and check that out and then tomorrow evening uh, Carl and I will be reopening up uh, Romans chapter 16 verse 7. So if you've, no, if you've always wondered what Romans chapter 16 verse 7 has to say about praying and praying for families, then that's tomorrow evening at half past seven again on the YouTube channel and uh, the, the social medias. Um, but we have come and drawn stumps there this evening for our time together. So Lisa, I'm going to invite you to close our meeting uh, together. 
time. Um, as we close, it'd be great to say the Lord's Prayer together, if that's okay. Um, I, I'm just going to read it, and uh, if you want to read, say your own version, fine, but I'm just going to read that. Just commit um, this, this whole time to God, um, and just pray that uh, that the Lord will indeed, as we have prayed, he will answer because he is faithful. So, thank you, Lord. Let's pray the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your, name. your, your kingdom, come. kingdom come. Your will be your done. Will be done. On, earth on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Daily bread. Forgive us our debts as we have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the cross. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Thank you everyone for joining us. Please join us tomorrow to pray. Bless you.